Hello, welcome to Trues With Views, where you get to do some trues too by asking me a question. So it's still basically me, but you ask me. Like this, for, well, let me show you. Russell, what's your idea on porn? Says Razil X7G. I don't look at it one day at a time because uh, I don't think it's good. I think it, you know when you play a computer game for much too long, I don't know what that was. That's <laughs> what I'm with typing, football management probably. Uh, like, uh, you, then when you come out, don't you think I should be able to just get into cars and go <laughs> like If you watch too much porn, I think it, it tunes you too much into people's capacity as a sexual sort of lump. And uh, I think that's good for me at any rate. And I don't think it pulls good in general. I was reading something yesterday in The Guardian, I'm sure Gareth will source it, and it said like uh, men looking at porn in public, that it's become so normal just to look at porn. I find it too much, you know, like it's too disturbing and unsettling and fascinating and exciting for me to look at and it biases my opinion on what human beings are and how we should treat each other. So, like, I'm not like a person who's puritanical and doesn't fit and thinks that people should be able to do what they want, but, you know, do what you want, I don't care as long as you're not hurting anyone, but I think porn it hurts everyone involved, the people that are doing it, the people that are watching it, and, yeah, so for me personally, I try not to engage with it, but it's quite fragile. I could, you know, if I'm left on my... If I say, like, someone just left me in this cupboard with this laptop, I don't know how long it would be before I thought, right, I'm actually really quite bored now. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. You know, and away I'd go. Jeffrey Simkin says, about a year ago, you talked about the use of DMT. I remember that you had said you were considering trying it since it is a non-addictive drug. Do you think you'll ever take DMT or non-addictive mind-opening drugs such as ayahuasca in the future or have eliminated that from your mind due to your recovery from drugs? I still sort of mull it over because I think that me, what is it, I, I'm a wreck up from the neck up. If I take any sort of drugs at all, I think it could really jeopardise my sanity, peace of mind and ability to live life as a new father and responsible partner and breadwinner. Uh, but like I am also so fascinated in ulterior realms. But like me I suppose, it's only through meditation and chanting and yodic, yogic practice and yodic practice because I am quite clever. Clever am I? How do I can? Yes! So like, uh, yeah, I um, can't take DMT, I think, because I'm already, as you can tell, quite unstable mentally. Russell says, Snickety dog, you've seen a lot of the world. Anything you think worth seeing in person? Imagine if I went, not really, mate. You know, the pyramids are boring. What have I seen? That Well, just recently I was in the Lake District and I thought, what splendour, what wonder. I learned of Donald Campbell, the man that broke the land speed and water speed record and gave his life doing it. I learned about John Ruskin, the art critic and commentator who, through his Protestant evangelism, still sensed an idea of how industrialism would lead to capitalism and the erosion of the rights of man. So I, at the moment, would say go to the Lake District, wander around there. It's sort of amazing that it's in England. You look at it and feel, this is so dramatic. There's weird things that are straight out of Tolkien. I've got straight out of Tolkien! A little mossy null thing! I'm a heel with graphic. I'll stop, I'll spare you. <laughs> Trey Kilgore. Hey Russell, I hope you're having a great day. What's your advice for success and what's your idea of success? I love you made a YouTube channel. Keep it up. Thank you very much, Trey Kilgore. My idea of success is a lack of agitation, discontent and irritation in your being. It's not about the acquisition of external things, though it often feels like it is. The true success that I've felt in my own life is when I feel detached or unattached from those things. When I think, well, I don't really need to be famous, I don't need to have other people think I'm brilliant. When I feel that there is a sort of a general flow that is participating in our reality, that is cradling us all, that if we commune with it on the inside and on the outside together, that we can bring about new realms and new realities that are more serene then I feel good. There's something in you telling you what to do, but like there's loads of things in you telling you what to do. But some of those things are telling you on the basis of how you've been acculturated and some of them are telling you on the basis of your primal drives. If you can distinguish yourself from those primal drives and from those cultural influences, you'll see that you might, you know, like, oh, I'm really into doing, was that called crocheting? That? You might be really into that. Or you might be into poems, or you might really be into, I don't know, climbing stuff or smashing stuff up. Who knows what it is? But if it's coming from within you, then by realising it, you're instantiating, manifesting, 
testing something that really wants to be in the world don't do it if that thing is serial killing i will say there i've said that now so it's not my fault if you do choose to have as a hobby some weird murdery type thing football russ if you played for spurs and had to take the final penalty in a penalty shootout against west ham in the champions league final would you score a miss on purpose i suppose by the time i've taken that journey and i've already overcome the idea that i'm playing for tottenham hotspur and i'm really good at football now so i'm a completely different person and we've got all the way to the champions league final and i've been trusted with the final penalty although that probably indicates i'm not that good at penalties because they normally have the good people take the early ones so i'm like i'm playing at left back or something they're like oh god we'll just let russell take one shall we oh no if you don't balls it up especially if it's not against his beloved west ham united like uh i would really try my best to score but i think nature would take care of the missing so west ham would win and i'll probably like to be worse than john terry's infamous has the chance to win the champions league for chelsea that is the end of a true use edition. I hope you've enjoyed communicating with me. I hope you've got something from this. I know I have. It's the thrill of hearing my own voice in my own mind, but loud now, not just inside silent talk. Go over there. What are we doing? What does everyone else think about? I'll tell you what they think about. They think, shall I subscribe there? Should I subscribe there? I'll subscribe there. Thank you. a tool that is abused to fool you and to leave you scared and confused. Trues is like the news. If the news was true, I want some trues. Let's have some trues.